So a lot of people ask me, why am I in Croatia? You know, they say, America is the greatest, why did you come to Croatia? And usually I answer something like, you know, there are a lot of good and bad things about the US, just like there are good and bad things about Europe or Croatia. Yeah. So Natalia, tell me, what brought you to Macedonia? Um, you know, since birth, uh, my father or my parents instilled in me that, that my blood was Macedonian and Italian. And um, slowly it took one family member at a time to move back. It started with my brothers going to uh, college in Skopje. And one year turned to two years, two years turned to they got their masters. Now they have a, a good job. And then my father uh, got a job uh, as a minister for foreign investment. And just one. That's by, really cool. <laughs> yeah. One by one, uh, we now we're all back. What has kept you here? Have you thought about going back to the U.S.? I honestly have not. And um, if I never move back, I, I think I'll be okay. Um, I like the lifestyle here. Um, and maybe it's an adventure. Just like you said, everyone here wants to go to the States. Mm -hmm. But I feel like everyone in the States wants, wants to see to Europe. It's just, you know, I guess you want to change, I guess. A little bit of both. Yeah. Yeah. So what are some of the bad things in the U.S.? It's hard for me to explain to people, like, what could possibly be bad over there, right? Well, because they just see the movies, and mm -hmm. everything is great in the movies. For example, when you see a nice lawyer in the movies, they don't realize to become a lawyer, you have to kill yourself in school, you have to get in thousands and thousands of dollars of debt, and then you have to work your ass off how many hours a week? 60, 70, 80? Yeah. They, they don't realize that part of it. They can't get coffee breaks every time. America's they're... actually really, <laughs> really expensive. And that too, and that's another thing uh, I don't think they take into account of. And maybe if they're in a cheaper area, you still have you have to have a car because you, you need a car for everywhere. There's absolutely no public transportation in Miami except a bus that is not like Zagreb's tram that can get you from one place, one part of the city to the other. It's like not as connected, right? If you're not in the center of, of a major city, New York, Chicago, Miami, uh, you know, there is public there's public transportation but you have to be in the hub of that and it's very expensive which means you have to have a good job and to have a great job you need a high education i mean there would when the recession hit they were telling us you have to get your masters minimum to get a job and and it just led everyone into debt i mean i i'm in debt at this moment from student loans it's just, how much how much are you in debt how much is college how much does it cost in the us my school was uh over twenty thousand uh, dollars a year but, you know, you get scholarships that help cut it off. I went to school for free. I got my education for free in Croatia. There's there's the difference. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, but then there are also good things in the U.S., of right? Course. So uh, it's very convenient in the U.S. Everything's open 24 hours. There's everything. Uh, every, for food, from restaurants to, you know, I mean, think of the cereal aisle back home. Yeah. I mean, there was 100 <laughs> cereals here. You might just have 15. You know, it's, you pick yeah. and choose. True. <laughs> um, but what are some of the really good things here then that, you know, really just, what would be hard, if you left now, what would you miss? What would be hard for you to leave in Macedonia or in Europe? The relaxation of it. Um, you know, people aren't as stressed as, as back home because everyone back home literally are workaholics and, and, and they, they take work to bed. I mean, you see the movies, they, they got their tablets on in the bed. Mm -hmm. They can't, uh, they can't live. And here I, f I feel like life is more focused on, on being with friends, getting a coffee, and, and actually communicating. Um, you know, it's just more relaxed. But but you have to find the balance in it because with that and not making money, you can't keep doing that. True. So so what I what my family and I think, you know, if we can bring some of the Western mentality of work ethic and make money in this type of world, you, you're you're a king, you're a queen because you know it's much cheaper here and king um, of the hill like. yes literally literally uh, just to let everyone out there know you know we're not the only ones there no. are a lot of people that share this kind of mentality and what what would it matter if you live in america or if you live in macedonia or you live, if you live in croatia croatia if you're miserable thank you thank you <laughs> well, <wait. laughs> follow hello offsides we have more videos to come and share